Hello, comic book fans. Welcome back to Comic Book Cafe. And today we are talking about Wolverine the X-Men number 27 AU, basically Age of Ultron issue. Uh, basically where they make these issues that are kind of like, they're separate with Age of Ultron. You only have 27. There is going to be, I'm sure there is another 27 for the regular series because this is again an uh, um, Age of Ultron issue. Anyway, the interesting thing about this issue is it's basically focuses on Wolverine and Sue from the Fantastic Four, or Invisible Woman, and basically this ties into Age of Ultron, where basically they go into the past, and Wolverine wants to go into the past to, to kill Hank, or Plime, or you would know play Hank, or you know him Ant Man, or you know him as Giant Man, you would know him as Yellow Jacket. He's been various characters. Hank's been various characters in the Marvel Universe, but mainly known as a genius. Hank is known as a genius. Hank Plum. Anyway. And the reason why they're going to go in the past to kill him, the, 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 the thought that Wolverine has, if he goes back and kills Hank, Ultron, Ultron will never be made, and then the whole Earth population won't be get destroyed. Kind of like the whole theory, if you could go back and take out Hitler, would you do it? Kind of thing. So they go back and sue... She was supposed to go in the future with Captain America then to stop Ultron, but she, she stays invisible doesn't obey orders and goes to follow Wolverine and she's still debating like she's still stuck on should they actually kill Hank is it the right thing to do she's really stuck on that it's really like bothering her to kill this person they know and who didn't mean for Ultron to be this you know man who massacres trying to massacre humanity he made him out of science and so they end upon going to a shield going to the past and going into a shield complex from the past and she finds the security feeds and find out they have security feeds to the Avengers and like Baxter building and the Fantastic Four. And while she's looking at that, Wolverine comes across these you know, scientific tubes and he thinks the thing in there is a future Weapon X. And he's like, I know we're supposed to leave small footprints not to affect the past too much, but to heck with it. He's going to stop this thing if it's Weapon X, no matter what. Well... It ends up attacking him, putting something in his mouth, and he finds out, he figures out, it's the brood. So he takes it out, and you find out the consequences temporarily there, that because of the input, the queen drastically changes because of him attacking the brood the way he did. And they leave it at that. So you don't know how that's going to affect the future, how he's completely changed the timeline for the brood in the Marvel Universe. That's like the unknown right now, later time. And then you find Sue, who is looking at the security feed of the Bastard building, and she's seeing back in the time when her and Reed Richards were completely not getting along. She's unsure herself what they're doing. And she remembers that and how young he was there and then. And she basically talks to him through the shield thing, tell him he needs to beef up security, which is important for the future. And he thinks she's an, a shield, an agent of shield. And so, again another possible changing of the future timeline and that's how they end it basically there's that's all that happens in this book except at the very end when sue because of seeing the fantastic four and everything and about being a wife and a mother this from being debating on what to do is now all bored of killing hank and that that ties into age of ultron book number six which you find out what happens so a great set of book. I li actually, I like the tie-in books much better than I like the Age of Ultron books. These actually tie-in books tell incredible, much better stories. The Age of Ultron have, for the most part, really been slow books. And I've enjoyed all the tie-ins. Tie this is Superior Spider-Man stuff, but I got uh, put in a video yet. So let's look at the actual book itself now, guys. Okay, guys, here is the cover to Wolverine and the X-Men 27. Yeah, greetings to New York with the Avengers again. This is kind of like an old-style picture of the Avengers, kind of cool, you know. Anyway, that's just for, of course, Age of Ultron, which AU means Age of Ultron in comic books, the tie, ten tie-in books. And, of course, you can't start with the beginning with the flying car and, you know, just basic. And let's just get to the basic part of it because we don't want to get too far into it. I'm going to show you basic things that are important, and then that's it in the book. One of them is, of course, this. And this is, of course, well, you find out he thinks this is Weapon X, but it's really, as you find out in a minute, the Brood, right there, there's the Brood, real quickly, there's the Brood attacking him. And here, let's get to the other 
uh, interesting part of the book. I don't want to show too much of it. You know, here's, you know, here is basically, you know, Sue, you know, looking back through the old feeds about, you know, you know, the, the, the Fantastic Four, and this is where she basically contacts Reed, basically, you know, telling him to beef up security. And then, and then at the very end, she's like, you know what? Let's let's do whatever it takes. So basically, this was a book that, that ties into the Avenger AU. There wasn't much to show in this book because it was, but it, this book, these books again, much better than the actual. This book ties into actually this book, age, you know, book number six of Age of Ultron. And unfortunately, uh, f these books are much better than Age of Ultron books. And so, uh, if you're interested in, you know. Seeing the much better books in the series, you ought to really honestly check these out. So, anyway, we're on enough for now, guys. So, see you next time for another comic book. Bye for now.